Multi-Russian pro-war telegram channels report that a Russian Mi-8 helicopter was shot down over Russian-occupied Donetsk. Some sources claim Ukrainian forces used a drone for the first time in such an attack. While Ukraine has repeatedly requested Western approval to strike Russian territory with supplied weapons, current restrictions limit such actions to border areas. In response, Ukraine has been developing its own long-range strike capabilities, particularly drones, to target deeper into Russian soil and Russian-occupied territory. Well-known Russian war correspondent Boris Rosin states that Ukrainian forces struck the Mi-8 with a drone during takeoff far from the front line. However, another pro-Russian channel initially supporting this claim later suggested the helicopter was hit by a HIMARS rocket, citing eyewitness accounts. Ukrainian journalist Yuri Butasov emphasized the potential significance of the event. If confirmed, this drone strike on a Russian helicopter at a rear airfield is a historic achievement worthy of Ukraine's highest awards, Butasov wrote on Telegram. He noted that while previous attempts to intercept helicopters at the front line were unsuccessful, this would mark the first such attack deep behind enemy lines. The Mi-8, valued at approximately $15 million, was reportedly transporting wounded Russian personnel. Pro-Kremlin sources indicate that the crew and passengers likely perished in the crash. According to Ukraine's numbers, Russia has lost 326 Russian helicopters since February 2022. Moscow has said Kyiv's armed forces have lost 278 helicopters. According to Dutch open source intelligence outlet Oryx, Russia has lost at least 38 Mi-8 helicopters since early 2022, as well as six Mi-8M TPR-1 electronic warfare helicopters. However, the true figure is likely to be higher, as this only counts visually verified losses. Ukraine has previously said it had targeted and taken out Russian Mi-8 helicopters. Recently, Ukraine's military intelligence agency said an Mi-8 helicopter had burned down at a military airfield in the southwestern Russia city of Samara earlier this month after Kyiv carried out sabotage operations on three helicopters inside Russian territory. After more than two years of war, Ukrainian drone operators have become extremely adept at targeting the most vulnerable parts of Russian targets. The open hatches of armored personnel carriers under the extra armor on so-called turtle tanks and through the doors of reinforced infantry bunkers. On July the 28th, a parade was held in St. Petersburg in honor of the Russian Navy Day. Journalists noted that this parade was the most modest in the history of the event. There were only two ships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. This indicates that Ukraine managed to disable most of the Russian ships that were based in the Black Sea. This was reported today, July the 29th, on the air of the Freedom TV channel by the spokesman for the Ukrainian Navy, Dmitry Pletenchuk. He emphasized that this year, in honor of Navy Day, Russia did not hold the traditional parade in Sevastopol. Unfortunately for us, the Russians did not organize a traditional parade in Sevastopol. If it had been, it would have been possible to draw conclusions about whether the Russian side's statements about the invincibility of the Black Sea Fleet and that their ships are safe and sound are true. After all, the sunken ships destroyed by the Ukrainian Navy would not have been able to participate in the parade. Pletenchuk noted, he added that Russia has already withdrawn most of its Black Sea Fleet ships from Crimea, but some vessels still remain in the ports of the occupied peninsula. At the same time, thanks to the Ukrainian Navy, they do not feel safe there. The Black Sea has become very unsafe for Russian surface ships. They have withdrawn the main vessels that pose any serious threat to Novorossiysk. There are still three Russian submarines left in the Black Sea. In any case, these submarines can be armed. Each can have up to four missiles on board. Therefore, in the event of air raid sirens, we take all appropriate measures. But I repeat, the prospects for Russian ships in the Black Sea are not bright. As a rule, they are at their base and they are limited to the harbor, the spokesman for the Navy said. According to him, a turning point has now occurred in the course of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The new solution was sea drones, which demonstrated a special level of combat operations. Ukraine has actually become a world driver in the use of unmanned surface combat systems. And it is precisely thanks to these systems, among other things, that the Russians are forced to retreat to their base. 
But we continue to look for ways to clear the territory of the presence of Russian ships and Russians in principle. But we should not relax, because they are also looking for a way to counter our actions. Dmitry Pletenchuk summed up. 